Dog, I already know what the comment section about to look like for this one, but YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video, and the Ravens, they signed the Kevon Seymour for the 2022 season. Um, now, I know that it's going to be a lot of questions as to why, what are they doing, da 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 because I already know how people get down. But this is the ultimate example of... Stay ready so you ain't gotta what? Get ready. Stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. Does this mean that Kevon Seymour is expected to be a starter for the Ravens in 2022? No, it doesn't. Does this even mean that Kevon Seymour is guaranteed a spot with the Ravens in 2022? No, it doesn't. But this does allow the Ravens to stay ready so they don't have to get ready. Ravens have Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters coming off of season-ending injuries. They're losing Jimmy Smith, most likely. They could lose Tavon Young, depending on how things go. We'll see. Uh, and, and they just, Chris Westry, we'll see what happens with him. They, they have a lot of questions at the cornerback position. Was Kevon Seymour the best cornerback out there in the world? No. Was he the worst out there in the world? No. But this is just depth. This is depth for the Ravens going into next season, and that's it. It's depth. Now, we know, oh, we know that every single year, this is why we got so frustrated when they traded Sean Wade, but we know that every single year, not, not that Sean Wade was going to be the end-all, be-all at cornerback, but we know that every single year, the Ravens' secondary depth gets tested like crazy. They lost, and they, they lost a lot more than we may think of. Because usually we think, of course, Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, the starters. Tavon Young missed a little bit. Jimmy Smith missed a little bit of time as well. But they also lost Khalil Dorsey. They lost Eamon Marshall. So it, it, it was more guys too, but the, 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 the point is that the Ravens, they lost a lot in the secondary this year. Lost Chris Westry for a little bit, for, for actually a little while. He was out for a little while. So it was rough, but all the Ravens are doing, just trying to show up the secondary as much as possible before they, head, before they even head into the offseason. I mean, their offseason already started, but a little early, a lot earlier than we would have liked, but... It is what it is. Um, so I got zero problems with this move. Uh, this will allow Kevon Seymour to be in the building. Um, so once they do the OTAs and all, he, he'll be able to get ramped up as far as, because uh, he did a lot of OJT, a lot of on-the-job training. He had a whole, whole lot of on-the-job training uh, this year. But this will allow him to get more comfortable with the Ravens, more comfortable with the defense, more comfortable with the secondary, more comfortable with the team. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Um, this does not mean that they are done in the secondary. This does not mean that they will not draft more for the secondary. It does not mean that they won't sign more for the secondary. Because I know uh, Ravens fans are, a lot of Ravens fans are in shambles right now. There's a lot of turmoil going on amongst Ravens flock about this decision and that decision and what they should do, what the people think they should do, what they think they shouldn't do, and all this and all that, and that is just fine. So I know when people are in that sort of mindset, when they are upset or frustrated or even some people angry at the team or whatnot, I know that uh, for every single move that the team makes, people are going to be watching very closely. And there can be some overreaction to it, but let's not overreact to this. Again, Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Better to be overprepared than underprepared. See, this year, I mean, they tried to be overprepared at cornerback. And they, they had, like, a lot of bodies at corner. They really did. But every, every last one of those bodies dropped at some point. Every, every last one. At some point was out. Every last one missed some time. Oh, yeah, we signed Robert Jackson, too. That was another one. Forgot about him. So it was rough. It was rough this year. Uh, and, and this has been an issue, an issue with the Ravens for a while. Um, we, we remember back in the days when Jimmy Smith, 
when Jimmy Smith was our number one corner. Oh man, he was he was amazing, man. He has he ain't the same Jimmy Smith that he used to be, but that's what happens with age and your body, and the game just catches up to you. Um, but when he was our number one corner, um, and he would be playing so good during the season, and Ravens would be doing good, it'd be like, all right, let's go, come on, baby, yeah, let's get it. And Jimmy Smith went down, and so would the Ravens season every single time, every single without fail. When Jimmy Smith went down, Ravens season would follow right behind. So they tried to learn their lesson from that. They signed guys like Brandon Carr, drafted Marlon Humphrey, of course, ended up bringing over Marcus Peters. And they would do so much uh, to make sure that it wasn't the end when, when Jimmy Smith's season ended. And they did a pretty good job of that. But then th this year was just some. it was just something different. Like this year... It, it made no sense the way that stuff went down. It was, I said it earlier in the video. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair. I mean, I mean, life ain't fair, but the way the Ravens got done, it wasn't fair. And I'm like, man, like, literally, literally every, every single week, every single week, we were having conversations about somebody being significantly hurt. Every single week. Every week. Without fail. And it was a conversation that we were all tired of hearing. I should go back and look to see how many videos we done made about somebody being put on injury reserve, somebody being hurt, this was torn, this was blown, this was broken. It was always something. So again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Uh, we'll see what else the Ravens do along the way. But you got to believe that this is the first move of many um because they they trying to get ready and again they once that all season starts 90 man roster and with with his contract i wouldn't expect there to be a crazy amount of guaranteed money it may not even be any guaranteed money at all but it's not going to be anything that's like wow that's like oh record break no it's a it's going to be a safe contract to where if he stays with the ravens all right cool but if the Ravens decide to make another move and, 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 and go their separate ways and end the relationship, it is not going to have a huge financial impact on the team, on their salary cap whatsoever. It's not. Like I said, I, I wouldn't even expect it to be any guaranteed money. And if there is some guaranteed money, it's not going to be much at all. So just keep that in mind with this whole with this move. Love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And remember, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Much better to be over than underprepared. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Kevon Seymour said, I ain't doing it. I ain't going there in 2022. I'm in with the Ravens and I'm not 